In this video, we're going to talk about the Viscerator versus the Scorch, survive or die. And we get some juicy details with the backstory too. Alright, my brothers and my sisters from another mister, this is a comic book review of The Scorched. Issue number 25, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously on The Scorched, the Viscerator, the long lost sister of the Violator, has returned to seek revenge against her ancient enemy, Medieval Spawn. But before we get into that, we have to go back 500 years ago. Malboja is chewing out the Violator for losing his battle with Medieval Spawn because Malboja wants Medieval Spawn to join his army. And guess what? He sent Violator to flex on him and defeat him. But instead, Medieval Spawn sends Violator back, crawling back to Malboja. And Malboja's like, you know, you are such a failure. Forgive me, Malboja, says Violator. And Viscerator behind Malboja's ears, like I told you, Master, he's incompetent. And Violator's like, but Lord, this Hellspawn, though it's formidable, isn't the one you waited for. He's not the one to lead your army. In the meantime, you could use me in his stead. But he was formidable enough to send you back here, wasn't he? He took me by surprise, Malboja, says the Violator. He had a dragon. You see, says the Viscerator, don't believe that mofo. It wasn't the dragon that split you in half, Violator, says Malboja. It was a knight's blade, huh? Failure demands punishment, and I've got the perfect one for you. It won't happen again, says Violator, please, no punishment. You've proven you're not to be taken seriously. You made a fool of yourself. And so, he snaps his finger, a fool you shall be until you gain my trust again. Now leave, fat boy. How long do I have to wear this, says Violet. He's pissed until I say otherwise, a day, maybe a century. Oh, so that's how the Violet became the clown. He's always been that way. That's pretty interesting backstory too. Clever move, master, says the Viscerator. Step from the shadows, Viscerator, says Malboja. Your attempts to manipulate are as pathetic as they are transparent. And yet, your treachery, your willingness to betray anyone, even your brother, is almost admirable. And Viscerator is like, well, you need someone conniving, vicious, relentless. I could take my brother's place if you allow. You want his position? So be it it's yours. So that's the backstory of the Viscerator. So 500 years ago, the Viscerator took Violator's place on Earth. So for a brief period, she became the greatest enemy of the Hellspawn, now known as Medieval Spawn, challenging him at every turn, leaving a wake of death and destruction in her path. Today, half a millennium later, Medieval Spawn had her magically bound, then downed an entire cathedral on top of her and left her to die. She's back and she's pissed. For centuries, Viscerator fed on dreams of vengeance. Today, she intends on making those dreams a reality. And she spawns like, I don't give a damn who she is. We gotta take her out. So Medieval Spawn tells her, okay, we'll get clear. But one thing that the Viscerator hadn't imagined was this. And this surprised her. Hell spawns don't work with others, and certainly not angels. And she looks at Redeemer like, you're an anti-spawn. What's heaven doing in this war? I'm not an anti-spawn. I'm a Redeemer. And he blasts her back like that, because you don't know me like that. And she gets clapped like that. Look, ooh, that's, that's kind of sexy right there. So they ask, is she dead? And Medieval Spawn's like, no, I made the mistake of assuming that once. She is clearly stronger than I anticipated. And to that point, she begins to resurrect. We have to finish her, says Medieval Spawn. She's more dangerous than her brothers because she can have children. Okay, look, remember in the past issue in the Scorch 24? Okay, well, those were innocent bar pages that they took out. And they made the regretful mistake of challenging them to a bar fight. So now, even though they're battered and bruised, but the Viscerator made them into something more monstrous. And she tells her children, keep his minions occupied, my children, but leave the night spawn to me. And Medieval Spawn's like, okay, girl, don't be trying me like I'm some kind of sample because you're about to lose your head. Earlier, the fate of the team was uncertain. Jessica Priest had threatened to leave them, but after some introspection, the team renewed their commitment to the team and to each other. <clears throat> and Viscera is like, boy, your skills have improved, John of York. Violator said you have potential, but he maintained there will be another spawn with enough power to take down Malboja himself. There is one such spawn. Well then, says the Viscerator, I'll just have to kill that hell spawn next. And so in her dreams, in her mind, she's thinking humans should have never been given the symbiote first. So when she presents their heads and her head to Malboja, he might even make her queen to rule at his side. But, you know, Medieval Spawn has to be a buzzkill to her and tells her, you did not hear? Malboja's dead. Spawn killed him long ago. And that was way back in Spawn issue number 100, which we will eventually get to that on this channel. Eventually, just stick with me, alright? There's a lot of comic book content out there. And the Viscerator is like, liar! 
Oh, I'm not lying, says Medieval Spawn. He took his head too. Neither of us has a master anymore. Medieval, stop talking. Destroy her, says She Spawn. This is a trick, says the Viscerator, like you used before. Symbiotes can't kill their creator. I'm going to go see him, but this isn't over. And she leaves. And she spawns like, I hate it when we're the ones doing all the waiting. I just want to do some fighting right now. But she says she can birth more children like herself. Well, when can that happen? Unknown. She's the first of her kind, says Medieval. Mm, she spawns like, I ain't liking the sound of this. Who would she trust enough to impregnate her? She doesn't have to trust anyone. She could just force them to. And before she spawn could put this together, a gun gets pointed at her head by some girl and tells her, don't move a damn muscle. Get the hell out of my bar, whatever's left of it. All right, lady? And she spawns like, girl, I'm not in the mood. She takes her chains, clap the gun out of her hand, ask nicely, and we will be more than happy to leave, all right? So they leave and the girl's like, okay, all right, well, sorry about that. And once again, she spawns like, I'm sick and tired of people trying to try me like that. So Redeemer's like, I can offer a guess on who the viscerator would try. Us. How about the one who released her? Ooh, who was that? Well, for that answer, we join a man known as Bishop, hidden away in a place that used to be a house of God. Bishop has always considered himself a holy man, but who he now prays to is anything but divine. And Viscerator comes back, you deceive me. You said nothing has changed since I was in prison. Nothing! You lied to me. Oh, says Bishop, for you it had it. We told you, your captor was alive, and where he was, that's all you asked. And Viscerator is like, oh, he's, she's ready to go to work on him. He has partners now, and said my lord doesn't exist. Is it true? Oh, yes it is. But that gives us an opportunity to create our own destinies. So join me, says Bishop. Together, we can give you the revenge you seek while carving your own power base. And when the time is right, I'll exact my own revenge as well. Jessica Priest is and always has been a fraud. She's not worthy of being the she spawn and that is the end of this issue of the scorch issue number 25 my theory i don't know what that is i think that's got to be omega spawn or maybe i don't know what that is but this is a heck of a cliffhanger right here what you guys think of the comic book comment below let me know and also link in the description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other rated comic limited print exclusives to add to your comic book collection support the art support the industry Lastly, this video is sponsored by coffee, so if you'd like to buy your boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks, but the greatest compliment you can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.